Well, welcome Capricorns and thank you for being here today. This is your weekly love message for week commencing Monday the 24th of October through to Sunday the 30th of October 2022. On the left hand side will be your crowning message cards and on the right hand side your crowning wisdom message cards. So let's jump straight in and have a look and see what your overarching crowning message is for the week ahead. My angels and spirit guides of the divine. Please, can you tell me your crowning message to the question? How does the soulmates of Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus feel towards? Thank you. OK, turn away dreaming. OK, let me pull one more. My angels and spirit guides of the divine. Please, can you tell me how does? Thank you. Moving forward. OK, um, Capricorn's. Either it is that you turned away from a situation, okay, or you felt that somebody turned away from you, okay. I feel that part of this turning away might have something to do with you working diligently towards your goals. So either you felt at this point in time that you and this person couldn't come together and you needed to turn away to focus on, um, it almost feels as if like focus on work, okay? Whatever it is, it feels as if this person is still in your energy space. You are dreaming, almost wishing, hoping, dreaming. It almost feels as if you are calling them in and hoping that they things will move forward or you are wanting them to come forward, okay? Um, I feel that you're being guided to just know, okay, that this week is a time of um, re-energizing, okay? Re-energizing and balancing out your personal life and your work life, okay? Because many of you may be either taking on quite a lot because you're focused on your goals. Um, and I feel that um, if you turned away, you may be uh, almost kind of like throwing yourself into work basically, yeah? Um, but if you can take some time to re-energize yourself, okay? That is where you're, I feel that you're gonna connect with your higher self, divine spirit universe. And it almost feels <coughs> like you're gonna have a bit of a light bulb moment. Whatever you are wishing and dreaming of with regards to whoever you're connecting with or a situation that you're connecting with, it almost feels as if, I'll be honest, it feels like it's just got you a little bit um, confused. It feels like it's got you a little bit confused. You definitely want to move forward. Um, I feel that you want them to move forward, okay, for you both to move forward. But it's like you don't know how to initiate that. That's what I'm kind of getting. You might even be wondering, look, do you know, do I turn away? Do I walk away from this? But it's like this person is in your energy space. You can't shake them. You can't get them out of your mind. Yeah. Um, I feel that you're being guided. If you can take some time for yourself it's almost like you're going to get a light bulb moment directly from divine spirit universe your higher self because there's it's, it's like there's another way to skin a cat is what i'm getting all right whoever you are connecting with i feel that they do actually see you as long-term commitment marriage and if you're wanting this person to move forward they will do um i feel that they're going to move forward to speak their truth in some shape form or another which might give you that light bulb moment all right let's just continue let me see what else is coming out for you but yeah you guys may have turned away you may have been looking back and thinking maybe you had, you might have some regrets of turning away. But like I say, this, you're dreaming of them. Yeah, you like you, I mean, it could even be that this person is calling you in, but you, you know, they're really in your energy space. Yeah, exchanging gifts. I think feel as if the reason that you turned away is that you felt there wasn't an equal exchange of give and take when it comes to love. And that is what you are wanting. That is what I feel 
that you either turned away because you felt there was a change of not equal give and take and you want that exchanging of gifts that exchanging of love to be balanced to, to, to be equal okay let's continue my angels and spirit guides of the divine isn't it interesting i said there's a there's another way to skin a cat <laughs> it feels as if whoever, whoever you're connecting with they might be the cat in this image ah they're just telling me that see it's like you're giving and they're taking that's possibly why you turned turned away from the connection for a hot minute but you can't shake them with that dreaming card okay i'm also getting this person may feel that you are uh, your status in life that you sit up quite high they might hold you in quite high regard like somebody that uh, achieves their goals it may eat and look notice that this ballerina isn't it interesting how synchronicities work like i just it popped out of my mouth about skin and a cat so that's telling me that whoever you're connecting is the cat okay um with this card look at the pyramid you're taller in this whether you're male or female it doesn't matter i'm just looking at the synchronicities here it's almost as if this person might have you on a pedestal or feel that you are above them in some shape form or another like you know maybe they feel they're boxing uh, above their weight okay when it comes to you it almost feels as if yeah they they hold you with high regard Oh, look, serendipity. Well, there's change coming. And it almost feels as if um, it's a lucky kind of change. There may be a course of events that created, um, I don't know, a little bit of a disaster. Yeah, many of you may have been a bit confused, like it might just come out of nowhere. That's prob possibly why you turned away. And that disaster or... Um, that confusion energy that I'm getting is it feels as if that there was a point where this person was given and uh, given and receiving equally both of you were and it feels as if it might have stopped that is the chaos that kind of came in I feel but it feels as if that's going to change it's like um it almost feels as if you're going to get a lucky a lucky break a, a second chance with this person and that's why I feel that you're being guided in this period this week it feels as if you're just being guided to just re-energize recalibrate because the two of you are going to be moving forward you might not see how right now and i feel that they're saying look once you ground yourself um re-energize rejuvenate yourself that's where i feel divine spirit universe is either going to give you some sort of sign or synchronicity or a dream of another way to get what you want a giving and receiving equally of love on both sides and that is when i feel that you're going to move forward both of you all right oh okay that's a lot of cards i'm not going to take all of that let's continue but yeah luck is on your side there's a change coming And I feel that is very much to do with you guys, uh, those that I am reading for Capricorn energies. Um, you're very, very connected with Divine Spirit Universe, your higher self at the moment. So it feels as if they're going to light the way and show you what to do and how to do it. But you may be all up in your head at the moment. And that's where they're saying, look, just ground yourself, re-energize. We're going to show you the way so that you and this person can move forward. My angels and spirit guide, thank you. Yeah, look at that. You're at a crossroads, the fork in the road. You don't know. This is what I, this is the energy that I was picking up. You don't know which direction to go. Whatever has happened um, between you and this person that kind of led you to kind of turn your back towards them. Um, like you never really, they never really lost you. I don't feel that you've really lost them, but you may have just turned your back for a moment and you kind of like are almost like reminiscing, looking back at how you used to give equally 
and like what changed and that is what I feel is confusing you and it's left you almost like at a cross path it's like which way do I go you're being guided change is coming it's going to be lucky it's going to be fortuitous for you and you guys whoever you are connecting with you and your person will move forward but it almost feels as if you need to kind of come out of your head a little bit because they're saying this there's uh, more ways to skin a cat all right okay capricorns if this message is resonating for you already please feel free to click that thumbs up button on the video subscribe if you haven't done so already it really does help to push this video out to other capricorns it also enables you to get those notifications of when i'm uploading new messages and of course it does help to support the channel so i thank you in advance for your support and encouragement existing subscribers welcome welcome back thank you for all of your support encouragement and donations it's truly um appreciated and i hope that you all get something useful out of this week's reading let's get into your main love love message my angels and spirit guides of the divine please can you tell me how does the soulmates of capricorn sun moon rising and venus feel towards them in love week commencing monday the 24th of october through to sunday the 30th of october 2022 what is their current energy spiritually emotionally mentally and physically towards capricorn that i'm allowed to see for their highest good and for the greater good of all as above so below and all around me thank you okay let's see what's going on <clears throat> oh wow <laughs> well straight off the bat whoever you're connecting with they are being patient trying to balance out their emotions as you know it might even be that they are also at a bit of a crossroads a little bit baffled not sure kind of what went on i feel that they are wishing dreaming of you and i feel that they do want to move forward but right this minute they are being patient thank you yeah that what did i say this person is all up in their head both of you are all up in your head but this person in particular doesn't even know what the heck happened here i feel that both of you are trying to connect with divine spirit universe it tells me that the two of you are very spiritual people um it also is letting me know that both of you kind of want to deal with this situation delicately yeah you want to make wise choices I feel Capricorn, you're the one that's going to shine a light on the path of change on um, once you rejuvenate, once you re-energize, um, recalibrate. It's almost like I said at the beginning of the reading, it's like you're going to get an aha moment, almost like a light bulb moment from Divine Spirit Universe. And it feels as if you're the one that is going to light the way. Um, you're the one that is going to take whatever path that's going to help you and this person move forward. I'm also picking up with this dreaming card. Pay attention to your dreams, Capricorn. You might get those messages in your dreams of how to move things forward. You also could be dealing with a Sagittarius or Virgo, <clears throat> or you could have Sagittarius and Virgo in your chart. This person might be a little bit silent. Don't take it um, personally. They're just trying to balance out their emotions. It almost feels as if mm, like you, you need to give them a bit of space. Yeah. And look, there's the new beginning with the ace of coins. There is a fresh start for both of you. Um, and I feel that you guys will be moving forward. You, it may feel that you're at a crossroads at the moment, but the path that you're gonna take is almost as if you're gonna get a lucky break, yeah? Um, and the connection where you may have felt there wasn't an equal giving and receiving of love, emotion, attentiveness, it's going to balance out, okay? The ace of coins is all about groundedness, balance, equal give and take, something that you can rely upon, okay? And that is definitely on the on the cards um, for you guys. Almost like a fresh start, a bit of a do-over is what I'm kind of getting. Thank you. And then we've got, yeah, so with the King of Swords, either, 
either this is your energy or it could be the other person. There might have been words that were said that was quite blunt or cutting and it feels as if it was taken in the wrong way. Whoever's energy is this, it could be you. If it was you, I feel that you're going to get some kind of wisdom. Uh, you're going to get some kind of clarity when you ground yourself, basically. If it's the other person, I feel that they are going to be imparted with some sort of wisdom, all right, in some shape, form or another. But whoever's energy is this, um, which we'll find out when we clarify, uh, it feels as if um, whoever energy it is, that they're open to talk. Either you're open to talk, they're open to talk. With the bonus card that's come in with the six of coins, this is just echoing the exchanging of gifts. There was an unbalance and both of you realised it or are, are realising it, okay? For you, you may have felt that you were giving more than you were receiving. The other person could have felt that they were giving more than they were, than they were receiving or they are fully aware that they didn't give equally to this connection, all right? It's your reading with the exchanging gifts and the six of coins and what I'm channeling with regards to like, you kind of feel a little bit like, what the heck happened here? Like how all of a sudden you're not giving equally to what I'm giving. That's what I'm getting from you. So it feels as if you're the one that felt that things were unbalanced. That's why you had to turn away. But you have not separated from this person I don't feel because they're very much in your energy space but you are looking back and thinking what happened it's almost like this fog over your over your mindset it's like I don't understand um I feel that they are fully fully aware that they weren't giving equally to what you were putting into this connection Let's get some clarifiers. My angels and spirit guides of the different... Thank you. Wow, look at that. Well, we've got the four of uh, wands. Didn't I say that this person sees you as long-term commitment marriage? The four of wands face up is long-term commitment marriage. The fact that it's come into um, in reverse... Either this person is recognising the dynamic has changed, all right? There's a, a transition or there's some sort of tension. They may feel that uh, long-term commitment, if it's, particularly if you turned your, um, turned your back for a hot minute or pulled back your energy, they're now thinking that things are a little bit unstable. That's what this is. Face up, this is stability. This is long-term commitment marriage. This is how they feel about you. But whatever happens here, it's in reverse. It's almost like they're not sure. They're not sure if the connection is stable enough. Yeah, And this is what they're being patient to try and work out. That's why they're all up in their head. Oh, wow. Oh, that's why. The five of coins, they felt that you rejected them. This is my breakup card, card the five of coins, face up. Um, this person knew or they felt they had to turn away because the connection felt unstable in some shape, form or another. Um, and possibly it's because... They saw you pulling away. With it coming up in reverse, I feel as if um, either they felt rejected or um, as they try and work out what was what was unstable, what was what was going on with you, basically, it feels like they want recovery. They want a renewal. They almost kind of a seeking answers in the same way you are. So they are definitely at a fork in a road as well. And I think because they are heavily thinking about you at the moment, this is why they are very, very much in your energy space. It almost feels as if there's almost like a um, telepathic communication between the two of you. you. You pick up each other's vibrations. Um, also, 
remember I was saying to you that they see you on a pedestal. They may see you as somebody that's a higher status than them. This is, could also represent their finances. They may not feel that they are at the same level of um, uh, financial wealth as you. Uh, and so they may be doing a lot of work to move forward so that they can have... Um, like they're working on their finances, a renewal of finances. It also could mean there's a renewal of faith, spirituality. Uh, they are looking for wisdom, for guidance. It's almost as if they're asking the questions from Divine Spirit Universe. Is this really unstable? Yeah. And it's like they want that renewed faith in the connection. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, yeah, look at that. Yeah, this person, I feel that they've walked away um, for a hot minute. I feel that they're going to come back round because there's going to be a change. There's like a lucky break that's going on here. If you turned away or pulled your back, uh, pulled pulled back slightly, it really impacted this person. Um, yeah. Yeah, I mean, it almost feels as if they felt that you were kind of breaking up with them. You rejected them in some shape, form or another. So they had no choice but to walk away. I feel many of you, um, there's, that whatever this change around is, they're going to work through it. They will come out victorious and I feel like they will speak their truth. This might actually be their energy. Maybe they said something, but they didn't realise, you know. Or it could even be the fact that they didn't say something or, you know, they said something cutting to you that thought, okay, that made you think, okay, well then, is that why you are not giving equally now? Yeah? Um... But I feel that, again, I'm just getting, like, there's another way to skin a cat. There may be a different route for you both to move forward. Well, whatever's going on, they're missing you with the Six of Cups. Like I said, it, it almost feels as if this person is very strongly in your energy space, Capricorn. It wouldn't surprise me if you are very strongly in their energy space. If they try to walk away, it's almost like they're in this quandary, in this crossroads. Like, do they come forward? Do they walk away? Do they come forward? Do they walk away? They want a renewal of something, a renewal of stability, maybe even the renewal of the hope and prospect of long-term commitment with you. But in the interim, they're missing you like hell. You know, feeling very, very nostalgic. Almost trying to walk away, but they can't. With the Six of Cups, this is also echoing the fact that the two of you have lived many lives with each other. So there is a very special bond that's going on here. I feel like they've tried to put you behind them, if I'm being honest, and they can't. Yeah. Thank you. What have we got here? Yeah, look, the, again, the temperance coming out. They're trying to be patient, waiting for answers. I feel that for many of you Capricorns, you just want to put the whole saga behind you and move forward. You are definitely trying to quiet your monkey mind. Um, you're in a, p a place of healing. And this is where um, Divine Spirit Universe is trying to encourage you to rest, re-energize, get that clarity. They know that you're heartbroken. Yeah. But the answers are going to come to you once you re-energize. It feels as if Divine Spirit Universe will show you a way to move things forward, okay, so that you can have a new beginning that's stable, grounded, and more balanced, all right? Um, I would also say, with the amount of swords on your side, that you may have gone a little bit quiet as well. Conversations aren't like what they were. That's perhaps what's getting you a little bit baffled, like... It's like, it almost feels as if there was a massive paradigm shift in this connection and kind of neither one of you know kind of what triggered it, if I'm being honest. I'm confused by it now. 
All right. Let's continue. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, please can you clarify? How? Thank you. Okay, so many of you, um, I feel that uh, you are wishing, hoping, praying, dreaming, yeah? Uh, manifesting this new beginning, all right? Manifesting this new beginning um, after healing, after um, some recovery time, all right? And it may even possibly be that is where you're going to get the clarity from, Um with the magician like it's almost like you're going to get the answers um maybe possibly through dreams okay whatever you are manifesting wishing hoping praying for um with this person now i wasn't sure whether or not it came out in reverse i'm going to read it both ways with the magician um reversed Many of you, it's just echoing this kind of confusion. You may feel that you're you're not in control of the situation to have this kind of new beginning that is stable and grounded. You may even feel like there isn't a lot of hope for the two of you to move forward because of this imbalance of giving and receiving um, emotion or uh, uh, love. And that is why you're trying to kind of uh uh like clear that monkey mind you know rest well that's what you're being guided to do is to re-energize but you're definitely in a in a fork you know a fork in the road not sure what to do um but i feel that you're being guided rest re-energize okay let's continue my angels and spirit guides of the divine I feel that this king of swords, male or female, is this person. It's like you want a new beginning with them and they may have said something that really confused you. Yeah, well, look, it is them. They do want to put the work in. Yeah, they do want to put the work in. I'm going to call it out. There might have been somebody um, that was interfering. I don't feel like a third party in terms of they've got somebody else. It could be like a friend or a family or a colleague that might have said something to them where it left them a little bit confused and that might have triggered them to say something a bit cl uh, a bit blunt to you. They're waiting yeah it feels as if they are waiting or it feels as if you know you are waiting to see if they're going to put the work in and whether or not they're going to move forward with you i am feeling like i need to take a, a do a couple more cards for you it's just left it on a bit of a oh no sorry i've got this card to clarify still Let's clarify the bonus card of the six of coins. Yeah, you're waiting to see if this person is going to come forward. With the page of pentacles, either this person is younger than you or they are perhaps a little bit immature or they may not be very experienced with um, relationships, okay? Um, yeah, or, you know, they're spiritually young, all right? With the page of coins um, coming in reverse, it very, very much feels as if um, they're feeling a bit frustrated because they're missing you. Uh, there might be a little bit of um, frustration because uh, they're, yeah, frustration because they're missing you. There might even be a little bit of resentment because if you turned away and um, they felt that you weren't giving to the connection, um equally um that might have left them like i said with a bit of a bit a bit of taste in their mouth but look the ten of cups this person is your happiness you really want to move things forward but it's almost like how do you move things forward Divine Spirit Universe is going to show you the way. I still feel like I need to pull a couple of cards. This is somebody who is your Ten of Cups, your happiness, your wish fulfillment. Somebody that you want to build a future with. On their side, we've got the Five of Cups in reverse. Now, the Five of Cups is this person, whoever they are, 
I was definitely disappointed over this confusion over whatever has gone on between the two of you with it in reverse if they felt or they know that they didn't give to this connection or um they were perhaps dealing with the connection in a immature way with that page of pentacles in reverse with the five of cups in reverse they are they are accepting the role in which they played in this kind of baffled confused situation that you're both in and i feel that they um they they are wanting your forgiveness is also echoing the nostalgia of the six of cups okay they are missing you they want a renewal they they accept the instability they accept perhaps they were being unstable for whatever reason again it could be outside influences which some of you may be sort of aware of but might not have real concrete proof um and it feels as if they want a renewal they want forgiveness or um yeah they want a renewal of the connection it's like they want things back yeah whoever that you're connecting with with the five of swords uh they were heartbroken over when what 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 went on um i would say they're not the greatest of communicators they may have even watched you turn back yeah turn away they may have watched you walk away and just didn't know why with the high priestess in reverse again this is just echoing that this person is quite spiritual and they are definitely seeking spiritual guidance from divine spirit universe okay i would say that this person is is very spiritual very connected with divine spirit universe and it almost feels as if they trust they trust that they will get some sort of sign some sort of dream some sort of divine intervention to help them um figure things out okay because right now they are really all up in their heads okay not kind of not sure what 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 happened all right i feel with the uh high priestess coming in reverse they feel like they have lost you okay they may really be holding back um speaking at the moment because they're trying to be patient they're trying to balance out their emotions okay it also could represent the high priestess in reverse that they don't quite trust the situation because they're seeing something that's a bit unbalanced here well look at that i well this feels like it wants to go here and this wants to go here i feel both of you want a, a new beginning okay i feel that both of you want to take a leap of faith uh, I feel that this um, nine of coins is your energy 100% and this is just echoing this status. Many of you, this person, I feel that they see you as very attractive, very well to do, very wise. You might even be um, maturer than this person spiritually, okay? Um, or you may even be a little bit older than them, but you are established, you are established in your own right and it's just echoing that this person may feel that you like they hold you on a pedestal like your status might be above their status and that might be why they pulled back their energy and didn't give to this connection because maybe they felt it was too good to be true with you all right Let's clarify the nine of coins. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, please can you clarify? Thank you, yeah. You uh, were definitely disappointed. You were definitely disappointed over feeling as if this person wasn't giving to this connection equally. Like I said, you guys must have been really baffled. Something triggered this person to pull back their energies with that three of coins it genuinely could be outside interference many of you may suspect that but you have no concrete proof you are definitely um upset disappointed okay but both of you want the new beginning it's almost as if the fork in the road is like well how do you get it 
How do you both get it? Both of you want to make wise choices. Both of you are leaning on Divine Spirit Universe to show you the way and Divine Spirit Universe will. Let's continue. My angels and spirit, thank you. Yeah, uh, many of you, I feel that you want to talk, okay? Um, but you're guarded. It almost looks like you're, you're, you're looking back. It's like you may be uncertain when to have this conversation with this person. Again, that crossroads. Guarded, uh, yeah, um, turning your back, not sure. Um, you may feel that they might turn their back on you. It almost feels as if, like, there's a bit of an elephant in the room. Um, which I, 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 I'm sure I said those words. And do you know what I was just about to say in the Pisces reading? And look at what comes out. This is the major arcana for Pisces, the moon card. Wow. If you're connecting with Pisces or uh, you've got Pisces in your chart or they've got Pisces in their chart, might be worth um, uh, 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 watching the um, Pisces reading. Because that's kind of like what I felt. It's almost, and I said it in the Pisces reading, it's almost like, like you, you, you want to talk, but it's, it's like, it's like both of you want to clear this up and move forward, but it's like there's a big fat elephant in the room and neither one of you know how to tackle it. Just know with the moon card, what is in that dark with that elephant in the room that needs to be spoken about, it is going to be revealed to both of you, how to deal with it, how to move forward so that you both can get that new beginning. So whatever is in the dark with this person, okay, it's going to come out in the light, all right, in some shape, form or another. Also, you could be dealing with a Scorpio or you could have Scorpio in your chart. And one more, please, to clarify the full card. Wow, okay, a little bit more than one. Okay, many of you with the Queen of Pentacles, can we see that? Well, let me move this up a little bit for you. Okay, many of you with the Queen of Pentacles, I feel that you want to offer something solid to this person. You know that there is a conversation that needs to be had, but you don't know how to initiate it. And many of you are still heartbroken over what happened. And just look at how the formation of the cards have come out. That heartbreak is what disappointed you. This person done or said something that really kind of threw you for six. Um, three, four, five swords, which we saw the five of swords here. This person isn't the greatest of communicators. It's almost like a battle when it comes to communication, almost like a language barrier. You, do, you guys haven't really quite either sussed out each other's love language yet or that's what the shift in the dynamic was. But with the Queen of Pentacles, whether you're male or female, I feel that you are ready for long-term commitment, marriage material, okay? It might be that's how they see you, okay? I feel that you uh, offered that to this person in some shape, form or another, but you might have pulled it back, which is why now they feel like, is it unstable? Does Capricorn still want to be with me sort of energy? All right, okay, these are supposed to be really quick weekly reads. Okay, we've advice, we've got torment. Plaguing your thoughts with self-doubt only exacerbates the problem further. First, make peace with yourself and shortly thereafter, you will regain your confidence. So whatever has gone down, Capricorns, it is absolutely playing in your mind. You know, you're at this fork in the road. It's almost like you're beside yourself. You just don't know what happened to you. This is why you're being guided. Stop tormenting yourself. Rest, rejuvenate. You guys will move forward. But right now, it's almost as if you're blocking yourself because you're confused, yeah? And then we have anguish. Simply knowing there is an end to this feeling of sorrow is the very beginning of your healing process, okay? These cards are just speaking volumes, Um. Uh, Capricorn, I hope that it's speaking volumes for you, for me as a reader. It's just really going deep into 
your feelings, their feelings, okay, over something that was almost like an elephant in the room and neither one of you want to touch it with the barge pole right now, but it is tormenting both of you. You've got torment, the um, eight of um, swords. This person is in this mental entrapment. Like, what the heck happened here, okay? Know that there is an end to this anguish coming, um, but it starts with your healing. And this is why I feel that you guys are strongly being guided, that you just need to re-energize, slow down, don't overthink. Your team, Divine Spirit Universe, know that there's a fork in the road for both of you, but luck is on your side. There's going to be a swift change of events that you may not even see coming, but you're being guided. Just relax relax and rejuvenate your last message says oh fraud being left with the deception that you once thought was truth can leave you feeling beaten but you will emerge from this situation stronger than when you began so either you felt that this person where they were given equally either you feel that they de deceived you in some way Almost kind of law, almost kind of like, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, uh, dangled that carrot, almost um, strung you along. That's the word I'm looking for. You may have felt that this person strung you along. I don't think they did, but something changed. I've got a feeling with that three of um, coins, somebody got involved. Somebody got involved and that is what the ricochet was. And that, unfortunately, is what's confusing the both of you because they might have said something really blunt and cut in that you could have just misinterpreted. But they don't know what it is. They suspect that you know that, that, that they weren't giving to the connection equally. There's something that really shifted the dynamic. But you guys are going to move forward. I feel that you're just being guided to just relax, rejuvenate. And just connect with Divine Spirit Universe. This might be a time to just go into some quiet meditation. Go for those long walks in nature. Um, so that Divine Spirit Universe can give you that light bulb moment. That clarity. All right. I'm going to leave that there for you Capricorns. If it resonates, please feel free to click that thumbs up button on the video. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. Until next time, I'm sending you loads and loads and loads of love, peace and light. You take care. Bye bye.